This is problem number 8 in uh, chapter 19 of the textbook. The problem reads, a 75 watt, uh, 110 volt bulb is connected in parallel with a 40 watt, 110 volt bulb. What is the net resistance? Um, so bulbs are essentially resistors, even if I were to uh, kind of sketch it in here uh, as a light bulb. So here's bulb number 1. I'll call that uh, B sub 1, and I'll say that it's in parallel with another uh, bulb that has a different rating. And so really, there's nothing different between kind of making my sketch look like this, and if I were to uh, redraw this as two separate resistors that had rating. And that's really what we want to do, is figure out what these resistive ratings are are of the two bulbs. We haven't been given the resistive ratings, but we have been given its power and voltage characteristics of uh, resistor 1 and 2, uh, respectively. And we should know that uh, power is equal to voltage times current. This is fundamental um, to electrical power. But uh, via Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR. And therefore, um, I could substitute uh, V over R as our current. And it's that substitution here back into the power equation that yields this idea power is equal to V times V over R, or V squared over R. Um, while we're at it, uh, of course, we could solve for other things. Uh, let's do, uh, let's rearrange Ohm's law in this case and solve, let's say, for uh, voltage. So voltage becomes current times resistance. Now we'll take V and plug it in here into that power equation, and power becomes I squared times R. So this is something we might use in a different problem. Uh, in this particular problem, this one is most useful because I'm given the power rating of the bulb, 75 watts, and the voltage rating, 110 volts. And the lower bulb is 40 watts and 110 volts. So in terms of voltage and power, I now can describe its resistance. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange um, this kind of new expression. Power is equal to V squared over R. In terms of resistance, I'll multiply both sides by R and divide by P. And I can say that resistance is equal to V squared, or voltage squared, over power. And now I could say, if I wanted to, then OK, well, bulb number one, the resistance of bulb number one in terms of voltage and power is going to be V squared for bulb number one over the power rating of the bulb. Or I could say that it's 110 volts squared over the 75 watts. And uh, when I do that, I'm going to get um, about 161.3 ohms. 161.3 ohms. And if I were to do the same thing for the uh, second bulb, it's going to be very similar. I'll just simply say that R2 is 110 volts squared divided by the 40 watt rating. And uh, that's going to give me something a bit higher. I'm going to get 302.5 .5, 302 ohms. And now I have the resistive values for both of the bulbs. And I can treat it as a parallel circuit. So the last thing I'll do now is say, all right, well, 1 over the equivalent resistance of these parallel bulbs is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And then substitute these two values in for R1 and R2. I'll get 1 over 161.3 um, plus 1 over 302.5 is equal to 1 over my equivalent resistance. And once I deal with that, I get my equivalent resistance is equal to about 105.2 ohms. And if I want to uh, deal with significance, I can call that 110 ohms is uh, the equivalent resistance of those two bulbs. Um, while I'm at it, let's just take a look at another way of solving this problem. Um, I could take this expression right here if I wanted to and basically rewrite it and say that 1 over the resistance is equal to power over V squared. And therefore, um, when I end up writing 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over uh, R1 plus 1 over R2, I can basically just take, all right, this piece right here and say, well, 1 over R1 is equal to the power of bulb number 1 over uh, V squared. 
and uh, add to that power bulb two over uh, V squared for bulb number two. That would just be another way of doing it. It's still gonna bring me to the same place uh, for 110 ohms being the resistance of both bulbs together.